This is the Billy T. Detroit Radio Podcast. Even better than I was the yeah. last time, baby. Ooh, 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 ooh. We back. I'm good. We back, baby. Ooh, yeah. I'm good. Yeah. And I was the last time, baby. Ooh, 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 ooh. We back, and 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 we back. What's up, what's up? It's your man, Billy T, and we are ready to do another great podcast for you. This is uh, show number 40. Show number 40. Of the hey. Billy T Detroit radio show. Uh, the usual suspects are in the house. We got Squirrel, Secret Squirrel in the well building. Down. Hey. Becky what? with the good hair. Rocky Road Productions, LLC. And my girl, Duchess. Hey. What's up, baby? What's up? How's everybody feeling tonight? Good. All right, all right. Mm-hmm. All right, so uh, I don't know where to start, so we have to start with the biggest news of the week, maybe of the year, Hurricane Steve Harvey. This thing, <laughs> I mean, is crazy. I've been watching the coverage, and it's it's so much water, I'm, I'm, I'm waterlogged just watching. It's terrible uh, what's happening in Texas. And Squirrel, uh, you have a personal connection. Uh, your family's there, your mom and dad. You lived there for quite a few years. Yeah. yeah. Uh, what is your take on it, if you don't mind? Extremely, extremely personal. I, I first want to say to all my people down in, in Houston, uh, stay Houston strong. I'm praying for y'all. And uh, I have a lot of friends and a lot of family affected. Uh, a boat had to, uh, it, it was every day. It was a, an extremely stressful week. Every day was something new. Sunday was just an initial shock of it all. Monday, they had to send a boat to my mother's house. Oh, my and, goodness. And uh, cart her way to the hospital. She's still in the hospital. Oh, my goodness. I mean, it it was it, it was just a lot. One of my my friend Daryl Babineau just putting names with with the game. Uh, Daryl Babineau had to bust through the roof of his house and pull his family, his wife and his two children, oh. to the roof mm. uh, until they they were up there like five and a half hours before they were finally rescued. Mm. Uh, my friend Rochelle Griffin lost her cousin who died saving her 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 six year old daughter from a, from a vehicle. Uh, it's it's sad. It's uh, it's tragic and it's real. It's very real. So, and we feel your pain, brother. But is mom okay? She's still in the hospital. Yeah, she's doing better. But she's doing better. With God bless her, and and let's send some prayers out to the family out in Houston and that whole area of uh, Texas and even Louisiana. You know, one thing when these things happen, the country comes together, the people come together, and of course, that's what we we love to see. And the president is hmm. usually the leader and the one who kind of makes us feel better, or at least he tries. Mm-hmm. Donald Trump, when he went down down to Texas, I don't know. He just doesn't have the compassion to me. The, he read the words, but it just didn't feel authentic and genuine that he really cared. I'm not saying he didn't care. It just didn't feel like uh, there was any emotion there. And then Mike Pence goes down the next day, and he seems like he does, he's more presidential than uh, than the president. So uh, we'll see what happens. Now, a lot of people were very upset with Joel Olstein. And he's got a big huge church down there yeah. in in Houston, I guess, huh? Yeah, it's yeah. in Houston, so on 59, it's uh Lakewood Church. It used to be uh the home of the Houston Rockets. Actually. Oh, okay. Yeah. Oh, wow. yeah. So that's, that's huge. huge. Big yeah. arena. Yeah, yeah it's uh, 16,800 seats. And he would not wow. open his doors for the right. The he, ba- refugees basically right. now at this point. And uh, he got shamed on Facebook and Twitter, oh, and then did. the news media got into it, and he comes on the news and, and has to clean it all up and, you know, yeah. comes up with all kinds of all excuses. excuses. What do you guys exactly. think about that? Should the church be available for the people at a time like this? I well, mean, yes. I mean, this is, it's, would be an oxymoron not to be. Mm-hmm. You I'm, know, you can't preach a word to help the people be for the people and not help them. <laughs> you know, right? So he's taking now, a initi- little. Initially, it came out against him because he made a he made a statement. Mm-hmm. Uh, he came online and made a statement. Oh, he's praying for everybody, and that's when everybody oh, started coming hey, back. Like, hey, wait a minute! Don't you have a big facility right, you right care there? So much. Right. How, come, wow. how come your church is <laughs> exactly. closed? Exactly. Yeah, that's the whole prayers uh, without works thing. And then he came right. with it's flooded. Yeah, I was which just going to say. Yeah, they said like he said that the uh, doors were flooded, the water or whatever. Is there, I've heard but, mixed mixed reviews on that mixed. Stories now. They, the the pictures that I've seen of the flood 
are the underground parking garage. Okay. okay? It's not the church. <laughs> right. It's not um, like we don't need to park. <laughs> Ain't now, nobody driving niece, no cars. My right. niece who lives nearby, she said that um, the area around it was originally was flooded and it was hard to get to it. Mm. But the church is elevated. Uh-huh. I mean, where it actually is the right. church. Uh-huh. So once you got it, yes, it was once hard to get to. to it. But once you got to it, the inside of the actual church was, was not okay. flooded. It was fine. Right. Yeah. But and that's... The bottom line. Right. But to put to me, to put salt on the wound, mm-hmm. Tyler Perry, Medea. Mm-hmm. <laughs> well, what did he do? He, he goes, he uh donated a total of a million dollars to uh-huh. different organizations in uh in Houston. In Houston. Uh-huh. But one of them was Joel. Oh, he actually yeah. donated to the church? He, he wow. actually donated two hundred and fifty thousand dollars. I wonder if he knew I'll be, you know, Oh yeah, I'll, he knew he he's defending him. Oh he okay. is right. defending Well, you know, rich him. people stick together. Yeah. 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 He's saying he's a good person yeah, 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 and yeah, yeah, you know, sure. blah blah blah. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah, 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 yeah. So, and there's some yeah. other there's some other things they were saying that's to be considered about insurance uh differences and all of this, blah blah blah. Blah blah blah. Uh, people you know, are dying. Anything happens people need inside, place to stay, you know. Come on. Exactly. Those are the things you worry give, about at a time like I that. I want to no. give kudos. Down there, the biggest furniture store, uh, furniture chain is, is Gallery Furniture. I mean, this, there's when you go to the main one, I tell you, it's like it's, no furniture store you've ever seen in your I, life. I, I, wow. The pictures. It's, I saw the pictures. I said, like, that's a nice furniture it's store. It's like monkeys and shit in there and tigers. And, I mean, <laughs> oh, really? Like, yeah. Like a zoo? Yeah. It's <laughs> oh, they didn't the show chain. that. Yeah, right. It's but it's chain. a nice place. And he does things like uh, he'll, he'll bet on football games and say, you know, if you... If you, if the Texans win, you say you come, you come in and get. A, I think you got. If you spend so much money, you get, you, you get that match much it or something. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. yeah. Okay. yeah and he'll do like millions of dollars worth of giveaways on wow. that man. It, because I mean, he's real cool though. He's a he's a Houston Houstonian to the bone. With and he opened his doors and turned his furniture store into a- into. A shelter a for shelter. the people that need it. Wow. And you can no tell problem. when you, and I don't know who the guy is, except I've seen him oh, on yeah. TV. You can tell uh, when you listen to this man talk, he is genuine, he is real, and he cares. Wow. And he said, hey, they, uh, you know, come on in, and, and I, I got, they can come and stay here. I got he's, fir- he's, he's always like you know? that. Everybody there loves him, man, because he is so real and he's so true to it. Yeah. And one more thing about Joel Osteen, and I think this is what bothered me more than all the other stuff that, that happened with him was that when he did make a statement, he said, when all the other shelters in town are filled, then, I'll open my doors. You, then wow. I, my doors no, are open to I didn't catch that. Yeah. What? Yeah. What? Wow. So then after people have died trying yeah. to get to after, other shelters, yes. pastures, so shelter, when they're, when they're all when full, they're full, then come, come see me. Then yeah. come see me. And then so he how also, do you know when they're full, though? Yeah, exactly. How do you know? Yeah. yeah. And then he also came with the excuse wow. of we're about like a distribution center. And people have been donating. So we're sending those things to the other shelters. He yeah. came with it's all this different off the wall stuff. Wow. Not a good look for him. Stop not Joel a good look for him at all. Stop. Wow. Uh, but now this also. I think uh, he was the biggest loser as far as the famous people. <laughs> yeah. And this, this, he, uh, took, he took the L. He took the L. But yeah. I mean, he's not afraid of that, you know, ricocheting and affecting his following, his church. Well, we'll, we'll, we'll see. I mean, we'll, we'll see when the, when the dust clears and the water fades. Obviously not. I just told you. Uh, he don't. Tyler yeah, Perry just yeah. don't. After that. And that's what's crazy. It wasn't before. It was after that happened. He donated 250000 So I guess he's trying to say that it's all good. Well, you know what? <laughs> you, know, you know, on the, on not trying to be funny, but sometimes the other side they don't get it. Like, they yeah. they don't, and I don't know as if they don't want to get it or they don't get it or if it's a mixture of both. Are you talking about rich people? Right. No, the other side. Okay. Yeah. I'm well, not. I don't know why it because the uh, the rain don't care. Exactly. <laughs> exactly. Rain don't have it. Ain't got no, no color. The flood is wiping everybody out. Yeah. Now, the one good thing is. Uh, Houston rapper Bun B has put together a charity concert, you know, with the guy who helped uh, do the Manchester concert. Well, he can, and he's pulling in all the big names. Jamie oh, Foxx, yeah. also from That's Texas. Uh, Kelly Rowland, uh, I'm sure Beyonce, she may not be at the thing, but she's donated. Now, what about the people donating oh, yeah. and helping out, uh, Rebecca? Okay, so some of the big hitters here. 
Ellen DeGeneres. Mm-hmm. She oh, yeah. donated a million. Oh, yeah. So did Leonardo DiCaprio. My man. So did Sandra Bullock. I love her. And so did Jay-Z. My and man. And amongst many others. But those were the ones well, who now, da- uh, donated Donald a million. Donald Trump donated a million. It was oh, million. yeah. He, he, he's pledged, he pledged a million. Oh, he pledged a million. million. And it was a few people that <laughs> pledged, too. Okay. Now, now, J.J. Watt has raised, uh, as of uh, the last time I checked, $10 million. Wow. Wow. Uh, for it so that's uh that's pretty awesome good guy oh yeah good guy yeah. and bum b speaking of bum b he was saying that he didn't want he didn't think that uh president trump should come unless he's coming with former president barack obama and other presidents to show a unity because after his whole shenanigans with the charlottesville incident it just wouldn't come off as sincere. Mm. Like, people are not going to take him serious. I, I think that's a good point. And you know yeah. what? Charlottesville seems like a long time ago. It now, sure does, it? doesn't it? I read it, I read, I read. this essay today, and it was super powerful, but it said the August of 2017 is historic and will and may go down as one of the most historic months ever. But look, think about Charlottesville was this month. Yeah. Was was not this month. Well, but like in August. Month. Right. The, yeah. That was oh, the beginning wow. of August. Yeah. So we started with the beginning of August wow. uh, of, of the division in this country. Right. Uh, as blatant as we've ever seen it. Yep. Then That's, we had the eclipse. That's right. We had That's right. The, the solar eclipse. eclipse. That's then right. We had wow. the eclipse. Yeah. And now we it's have dark. something, this tragedy wow. that brings so many people together and makes everybody realize when it comes down to it, when this when the shit hits the fan, mm-hmm. when it hey, gets real. Guess what? Guess what? <laughs> we all in this together. We're all, all in this together. Same. Yeah, it's probably a shift of yeah. energy, you know, going on and Which um, is not a bad thing. It's not. We need to catch the, the shift of the energy and ride the wave. Ride it out. Yep. Yep. No yep. pun intended. Yep. Right. There you go. Thank you. It's my cocoa butter kisses. Cigarettes on cigarettes. My mama think I stink. I got burr holes in my hoodies. All my homies think it's neck. I miss my cocoa butter kisses. I miss my cocoa butter kisses. Okie dokie, I'll keep, keep it low key like Thor Lil Bro, or he'll go blow the loudy. Saudi if sour, Saudi. Wiley up off peyote. Wiley like that coyote. If it's I'm the Billy T. Detroit Radio Show, uh, show number 40. It is September 1st, and we're talking about the Steve Harvey hurricane and all the celebrities uh, donating and all the people. It's a, it's a tragedy. But uh, let's lighten up just a bit, guys. Uh, did you see the fight? Oh, Speaking yeah. of historic months, a historic <laughs> fight, fight. with uh, right. Floyd Mayweather what and uh, Conor McGregor. That is it, true. And uh, uh, it, it, did it live up to the hype? Uh, yes, to me, it did. It was, it, and, it was, and I told you I he was going to knock his ass out. I, well, I, I, this I is my it. problem. He didn't knock him out, he, and they didn't let it go long enough. I wanted him to yes. hit the canvas. Oh, he I was going. I did, too. He was going down. He didn't go down, though. <laughs> I said he was going, though. But he didn't go but down. But you know what? What about the whole... Uh, the whole beating him in the head. I mean, like when they they had a problem with him holding on to him at the end when he should have went down, but he was yeah. holding on to him. But not one time he kept bopping him in the back of his head. <laughs> Did they say anything? Did they say anything? I mean, I didn't really understand that's that all part. part of the well, show. That's that part. No. Actually, what that is, that's an MMA move. And, and he, he exactly. I saw him that and the grabbing him from behind, shifting to the side and grabbing him from the side and from behind. It it was him. Fighting their urge to to, he, to, to to really go into okay. it. He was but what, didn't it monster. seem like Floyd was turning around to him and almost Sometimes. like Floyd giving him a was chance to do that? with him because he knew he was going to put Floyd it down. I wanted to see him. Out. I wanted to see Floyd just... I wanted to oh. see him oh. I, I, that, That's what I kept asking, trying to get an honest answer, because unlike where everybody else was enjoying the fight, I was... Getting my daughter ready for school. The hey, first that's day a, of school. That's a but personal no, problem. What do you no, want us to do about that? No, but I, that's what I wanted to know. Like, how was he in the ring? Was he struggling? No, he no, was, he, he fought pretty good. He really? came out. Listen, I knew he was going to lose because he came out too ready. He was too ready. I said, oh, Floyd's going to play with him for a couple of rounds, and he made Floyd fight. But the, and I enjoyed and it. And the interesting you know, I don't know why people thought this was going to be a pushover, because the guy is a fighter. He may he was a, a pushover. A boxer. He, oh, no, 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 no. He was a pushover. Let's be he real. Got, he, got, he tagged Floyd 111 he, he, times more than he, anybody no, 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 no. else. Some of those oh. punches weren't even punches, though. Well, they you, got you points for him. He just never He got him. points for him. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. He got knocked out, too. He came out 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 out
He came out. He did out not of get knocked out. He it was a technical knockout. And that counts as a knockout. And they he didn't see. hit the canvas. But and he will counts, always say. But it he, counts. Yeah, he's going to say that. But guess what? If he wouldn't have grabbed Floyd, no. he would have fell. Well, but you know what? Uh, well, that's part of the game. That's part of the game. he should have fell. I'm going to tell you what he said. What did he say? They should have went on and let me let me hit the canvas. Yes, and, and uh, exactly. So it's not like he can he can say. Oh, but he, he didn't did me not down. hit he the didn't canvas. Say it with, he didn't say it with pride. He said it like he was about to get he his knew ass it. whooped. Oh. He knew he got his ass whooped, and he knew he was about to hit the canvas. And he will always say, "I never hit the canvas." No, he won't. Yeah, so, he what do you guys feel no, about this? I seen He's somebody cool. on Facebook. He made his hundred million. That in yes. this instance, uh, you know, this is an instance of uh, white privilege. Oh, and of being course. able to fight. Yes. It's oh, not, you yeah. know, yeah. it's a oh, difference yeah. in. Yeah, he should have never, you know. Yeah. But see, it also, never it also it's came hard. into money. It's That's like it he was is. able to build himself up to a point that he could challenge Floyd only on the strength of, I can kick your ass. Oh. And and it people bought it and people wanted but to see it rules? and people bought it. What about yeah, rules? Don't matter. He followed, he followed rules don't the matter. Rules. For the most part, he fought as a boxer. He fought, he as fought a boxer. Bo- he fought and he did and okay. The rules. And he did he okay. Did okay. He, he did, did okay. He was totally outclassed. He got his ass whooped real good. And he he for all intents and purposes. On the record, it counts as a knockout. Okay, so <laughs> I want him we, to hit the grass. I don't carpet. care what you want. I'm talking about what it is. Okay? <laughs> <laughs> that's, that's what it is. It counts as a knockout. He I got, want him to go down. He got. I want Floyd to whoop him. He for got real school. whooping. He did whoop him. He, <laughs> he whooped his ass. Man, that boy he wasn't hurt. That ass. boy wasn't hurt. Oh, he, he can take hurt. a lot more punishment yeah. than that. He was. Yeah, he was an MMA fighter. They take a lot of punishment. I was watching. Somebody sent sent me. I don't care. Somebody sent me some uh, some film of 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 um, uh, Roy Jones Jr. Oh, oh, and you oh. know his knockouts, and he was abusing people. And you, I started looking at these old boxing things. They let these guys take so much punishment. They stopped this fight way too soon. That's way because, too soon. No, that's because it's because of fights like that, because of tapes like that that you watch from back then. Mm-hmm. Is why they stopped the fights now. But but because this guy is people, not a boxer. Because too many he can people, take the punishment. The too many people have brain damage, and too they many all people, have brain Floyd, damage. But we are no boxers. No. People died Floyd in the ring. Said he not going and about out three like or four. That. So he already probably told them like don't. Let me go past. <laughs> I don't, I don't but you know what? I like the fact that we're like so crack. Because he Connor's only 29. Isn't Floyd in his 40s? Yeah, he's 40. 40. Hey, he's 40. Hey, big 40. up to that. Hey. 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 Shoot, 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 shoot. I got the juice. I got yep. the juice. Shoot, 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 shoot. All right, other big news. Serena Williams had her baby. Yes. Tell me about it. Tell me about yes. it. Yes, she went into labor on Friday. On Friday. Was in labor for three days, right? She, she was admitted to St. <laughs> Mary's Medical Center in Palm Bleach, Florida. Palm Bleach, that's a new location they just made. They do that for Palm the black Bleach. women. They do Palm that for Beach. black women. <laughs> Palm Beach on Wednesday and induced Thursday. So minute, she, she was induced on Thursday and, and was had in the labor. baby on Friday, Friday because, you know, that's that whole Pitocin and all that. So that's to work through your system. And it's a process. I have no idea what she's talking about. <laughs> Pitocin. <laughs> yeah, that's that's the inducing med- okay, medication they sure. put through the IV. Okay. But she had a baby right. girl. So, oh, a baby right. girl. Yeah, oh, OK. She had a baby girl. So I'm wondering we, we might got a future. And Auntie Venus Tennis won today. Auntie <laughs> Venus won today at the U.S. Open, too, hey, by the way. Hey, listen. Yeah, Look, yeah. Her, her and her spouse went grocery shopping. Who? I just want to know Previous if it's Drake's to baby. The oh. delivery. And what'd they buy? Oh, I don't know. They, they <laughs> you know they, was, they went grocery shopping. They said they was, <laughs> that, that house was loaded up, though, and ready for the baby. I, I bet Serena it. liked to eat. I bet she was eating everything while she was pregnant. I right, because the groceries it. has to be for her and him because the baby's like either really, getting uh, really. baby milk they or being a nurse. So. Well, I'm just curious if it's really Drake's baby. Ooh. Oh, my goodness. Ooh. Come on. That would actually be kind of cool. <laughs> I that would be very you. controversial. They weren't together, but what a week! I mean, that, how long it take to get pregnant? <laughs> it only takes a minute, girl. Are we assuming they hook up. Come on! Oh yeah. my God! Yep. So yeah, yeah man. So sure. good for Serena. Good for her. Uh, now the other story hitting the news uh, this week. Uh, there was a cop. A lady got pulled over by a cop oh. in uh, Georgia somewhere, yes, in Georgia. of course. Yeah. Yeah. Mm-hmm. And uh, she said she was scared. And she was like, hey, 
my wallet's in my lap, but I don't want to. I don't want to reach down. I don't, don't want to put my hands down because you guys. I saw videos of you guys shooting people. Yes. Of the cops shooting. He said, "Hey, come on. We only kill black people." That's but right. that's yeah. what I was you're, just you're okay. Say, so she, but was she, she said, black? He said because no, no. he did say she was that. white. No, right? Because he said we yeah. only kill black right. people. Right. He said so you're okay. So that's why but, I said she was a white woman. Right. right. I didn't, no, I didn't he really said, show her. The first thing he said was, "But you're not black." But you're not black. Remember, we only kill black people. Remember, he said, "Didn't you see the videos?" He said it twice. Yes. Yeah. He said, don't you see the videos? Yes. Well, mm-hmm. uh, he lost his job. Uh, of course. <laughs> and he should have. And he, well, he, finally. You know, but look, look how many times people got to get in trouble before they, they do anything to him. Before they do anything. You know, so. Yes. That is. That I, is uh, I mean, that was blatant. But, they, I mean, even the, the killings have been blatant and they get away with it. And those. they get away with it every yeah. time. Well, every is, time. He, is he actually fired yet? Or, well, or, uh, yes. or is he still on paid mm-hmm. administrative no, leave? he was well, fired. They let him go. What you got? Of police, what you got? Uh, this just hits a little closer to home. Uh, the police, the state trooper who killed the young man on uh, oh, Detroit's yeah. east side. Uh, the kid was on the a AT, four-wheeler the ATV, ATV and yes. the, he wouldn't stop and the cop tased him. Which is illegal. And he killed him. He and, fell off and died. And he killed him. Yes. Oh, my God. So, well, yes, you lose. And they're going after a $50 million lawsuit. I mean, that doesn't, but I'm just saying, of course, Jeffrey yes. Fragger came out the, the, yes. the sky. Hey. Super. Look. Jeffrey, <laughs> <laughs> you know Jeffrey Fogg is going to be but on that one. But you know, it's, it's mm-hmm. nothing funny. It's no it's dollar not. amount that it's can not. even no, replay. Not. I mean, it's it's you know you can't even begin to you yeah, know. But wrong. that What's is going on with you these know, police officers. It's just they're man. out of control. They're, they're out I mean, of control. That's, that's and his crazy. race, yes, that, that's absolutely his race is going to come into play. Okay, but it's you know it's it's out of control because when you get tased, you don't you lose, you lose bodily control. function. Yeah. You can't do anything. It's the craziest thing. How are you going to do that with somebody that's oh, riding, riding a vehicle? A vehicle. And, and that's their only control. And, they, yes. it, 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 and they're not even protected. By, he I needs mean, to go be, to jail. Yes, Absolutely. That's, that's definitely murder. I agree. The sweetness of a honeycomb tree. And now I look mistaken over me. Couldn't fake it if I wanted to. I had to wake up just to make it through. I got my patience and I'm making do. I learned my lessons from the ancient roots. I choose to follow what the greatest do. I'm ripping for the longest cycle. Mm. My uncles had to pay the cost. Mm. My sister used to sing the Whitney. Mm. My mama caught the gambling bug. Mm. We came up in a lonely castle. Mm. My papa was behind them bars. We never had to want for nothing mm. Said all we ever need is love mm. We see the same thing We sing the same song We feel the same grief Bleed the same blood You grew up in the home beside me mm. I always had a friend to call Billy T. Detroit Radio How could I make it and we are uh, we just having a little fun, a little conversation with uh, some of my favorite people. Secret Squirrel, what Becky up, with the good hair, and Duchess in the mm-hmm. building. Hey. Uh, now listen, you uh, Becky, you got a story about a young lady. She had a tattoo removed, uh, went to school. With it. What's the yeah, story? So What's the story? a 12-year-old in Georgia, right? She Georgia has this, again. <laughs> she has this tattoo on her shoulder, and it says, uh, Jesus saves. Oh, yeah, and it's a cross nice. on it. That's nice. So... <laughs> <laughs> that's nice. I mean, what's wrong with that? Okay. What's wrong with that? No, it's I think Jesus. She, said loves she was twelve. She was let's, twelve. Let's yeah, that was so oh. she's got let's she's got the strapless there. hookup on, right? With the, not the Jesus saved, but the Jesus loves. I'm sorry, on her shoulder. And so the teacher sees it and calls the police on her and reports this tattoo. For what? I would have. I don't know. Child Protective Service. Oh my God. If she's twelve. Which she's maybe in the fourth or fifth grade. Twelve is about sixth grade. Sixth grade. Yeah. Okay. CPS. You're almost grown. No, but why you're did, almost grown. CPS, 12 CPS. If you let okay. her get tattooed, she's probably doing right. other things. But you know what? The, oh, my God. What yeah. really struck me <laughs> is she had on a strapless dress. See? There we that, go. That's over the top. Showing her body. So she's got the tattoo. Wait a minute. She's got Wait a minute. Wait a minute. A 12-year-old with a... That just means a, a T-shirt. A strapless. What no, mean, you that said, means like a tube dress. Oh, tube yeah, top. Like the girl was clowning. But she's twelve. She was showing yeah. her curves. It was hot. Come on, you got, she ain't got so, no curves. She, right? She ain't got no curves. She was thotting. She's twelve. So she's, she's a being, kid. She's she's being she's thotting yeah. up in the school with this tattoo. 
So the, you know, wait a minute, hold up. I can't let you. You know what? You done made the little girl a thot, and she's twelve. So what happened with the story? No, I don't I think she's a it. thot. But that this is must be what the teacher felt to call on her, right? She okay. thought she was thotting, I guess. So anyway, the police officers asked the little girl. You know the story. She says my dad said it was okay. But well, there which you was go. Why? It was the mom that okay it. Same so difference. They arrested the mother they and the have. tattoo artist. CPS. But this is what I don't understand. CPS. I thought if your parents took you to the tattoo shop, I know for piercings. Yeah. And signed off on them, it was okay. If you're right. under age 18, you had there's to get your parents approved. There's this, there's this new law out now. It's called child abuse. Oh, right. Man. But it's, it's not even. That's, new. Okay. That's a new law. But how old? <laughs> I mean, it doesn't even matter. First off, a 12-year-old shouldn't even have a tattoo. Let's just Thank be you. honest. Yeah. Thank you. But then, That's your opinion. No, 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 no. no. That, no that is a, is all a, children. What, what, what's wrong with a tattoo? I mean, For but, a 12-year-old, a tattoo. What's wrong with it? If it listen. Is what, she going to get sick right and die? With it? She's 12 years old, so she gets something, and you have all your life to live with this and to think about the consequences that a 12-year-old chose Jesus. to make. The tattoo <laughs> says Jesus. What if, what if she grows up and I wants to be a Muslim? That. <laughs> right, she had exactly, to put Muhammad exactly, on there. My, exactly. <laughs> but you know what? It should be I agree your choice. With you. I agree that she shouldn't but have no, the tattoo, but mind you, that's our c- culture and our beliefs. You know what? You, you mean yeah. your generation? But if it was religious, getting a tattoo of Jesus saves, Jesus loves me, Jesus anything is nowhere a practice and anything that has to do with Jesus. Ooh. What? Right. I mean, huh? and then what? my thing what? is. Wait a minute. Boom shakalaka. No boom shakalaka. <laughs> yes. Yes, boom shakalaka. I mean, show me the, the tat- show me the tattoos. People, it is culture show- that you know have different things That's like right. you, they got the But we are in know, a culture t- pull out. We pull out pull the out, picture of the yeah. last supper and show me the one with with the tattoos. <laughs> with the tattoos. Well, now first of all, <laughs> listen, we are living in a time and a culture where tattoos are very acceptable. Jesus People got have Jesus them on their necks on his chest. Jesus so she just happens to have Jesus on hers. But mm-hmm. I'm saying it's we're in a tattoo era right now. Everybody has them. So Not what's wrong with this little girl own. getting one if too, a mama said it's okay? It's too young. In whose opinion? And and every opinion of the law. So let me ask Billy, what? Would you let your twelve year old daughter? Hell no. Okay, okay let's but, just clear it up. Then. But that don't mean. That's what I but thought. that doesn't mean I can tell you <laughs> no, that you can't have your child. Her. Obviously, no one told yes. her, and she wasn't but listening. That's not that our, they did. That's not <laughs> our why, business. Why was that's the, the law. You know, it's, it's no law. Yeah, yeah. I'm a little it is. Obviously, she I'm got a arrested. I'm a little conflicted because it's abuse. Why was that teacher worried about that? What is abuse about it? Because I would have. If a kid, if I'm a, a sixth grade teacher and I'm teaching and someone comes into my classroom, she got a couple, uh, I don't know, <laughs> <Tattoos>? panther paws <laughs> running, down, running down a little Shaniqua. Got a couple panther paws running down Not her Shaniqua, chest. Though. I don't oh, know, you know. But whatever, you know, I'm calling. Okay, Google. Well, there call is there a though, law the against kids having because tattoos? Because obviously the parent don't know no better. Cause she she let it happen. Listen, here's my time. here's my thing. You may all be right, but you're absolutely wrong. <laughs> no. You cannot tell people what to do with their bodies. Well, guess Physical what? Obviously, and emotional abuse. Well, this is what's not a, what's her abuse body. about it? Whose body a tattoo is? is painful. The <laughs> tattoo is not something that a twelve year old child the just little thinks girl tickles. Asked for it though. Yeah, well, it, the twelve what? year old. Did she ask for some? If she asked for some weed, you gonna let her smoke it? Sure. If she asks for why some, not? And that'll be child abuse too. It's legal. Not in Michigan. Let them kids do what they so want to do. She get tattoos. She can go a, ahead and get her nipple pierced. Teacher, drink some cognac, leave those kids alone. It is not illegal for twelve year olds. It you is not a couple well lines. Give her the Even where it's legal, it's not legal for twelve year olds. Not the eggplant. <laughs> Who giving it to her? R. Kelly. In the Ooh. oh, did we miss a whole? Did we stir up another topic? <laughs> in, here you go, R. guys. Kelly, Listen, in the United States, there is no no federal law regulating the practice of tattooing. However, in fifty states and the District of Columbia, have statutory laws requiring a person receiving a tattoo. There is no health risk. 
Okay, so I mean, you can it's say all those things. Him. Statutory law we means never if they're too young. We never said anything about her health. This is not well, the topic. Well, then what's the, the topic? The... Is her being twelve years old? No, and no, making no. A you decision. said child abuse. That's no, health. Child abuse is what he said. I said <laughs> she should not be getting no tattoo at twelve. She should not be able to make those type of decisions. And her dumb ass mama shouldn't be making them for her either. That's something you should make when you eighteen. Oh. My because daughter's you know, sixteen. She cannot get a tattoo. She probably got she a tattoo. Cannot. And you know what, Billy? She was probably. 12 Working under the bleachers. <laughs> now okay. you're reading into it. You get a tattoo she when you're She was thought and almost fell out. Listen, you get a, you get a, she thought with the Jesus loves. You get a she tattoo. She wanted to cover thoughts. You the get a one. tattoo when you're old enough to buy a tattoo. Yes. Yeah. That's, that's uh, my rule. Uh, there the we go. The mama bought it. That, no, when you old enough to know. I can't even say that because my daughter got you a job. She a, still can't get no tattoo. No. You get a tattoo when you're old enough you, to buy When you old enough to pay your own rent, car note, mortgage, whatever you want to do. You, I'm not paying. When you out of here, then you get whatever you want. <laughs> you know, I got my belly pierced at 17. It. My belly button. What? And by the see, way. So that's under 18. And see. Well, and, did and you I pay just want to say this. Mm-mm. Your mama paid for it? Well, did your mama prob- know you did it? She your mama paid for it? kick too. <laughs> 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 I don't know how I talked them into that. But. Into that, but yeah, because that was that was definitely real sexy. Girl, I thought I was too fine. That's okay. what I'm saying. You was a hot mama. You was a hot little mama. Hey, she Billy, was she was thotting. She was ah! thotting. No, I wasn't thotting. Nah. <laughs> mm, not thotting. Maybe a minute, Maybe that tattoo was really for Jesus loves. See, now, wait a minute. Now, we crossing up. up, up maybe Jesus, Jesus is loving on her? Yes. <laughs> she should have put R. Kelly loves on the back. Ooh, that's his nickname. No dark sarcasm in the classroom. Teacher, leave them kids alone. Get all the tattoos they want. Them kids ain't hurting nobody. Leave them kids alone. All in all, it's just a brick in the wall. <laughs> yeah, I think kids should be able to do whatever the hell they want to. I bet you do. Whatever they want to. Leave those kids alone. I don't know. Another brick in the wall. It's just another brick in the wall. That's Seth, all. Says the only man in the room that don't have don't have kids, okay? <laughs> I think those kids should be able to do whatever they want to do. Leave those kids alone. <laughs> I'm not That's affected. Oh, exactly. <laughs> <laughs> the whole world's gone crazy anyway, so what the hell? Nice. Oh, my Never goodness. i about that. Uh, what classic, else? Huh? That was some classic Pink Floyd right that there. That is man. some classic Pink Floyd. Pink Floyd. <laughs> Plink. 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 <laughs> <laughs> you can't have no pudding. All right, Coach, let's keep it moving. We got Ezekiel Elliott, the idiot. Um, but 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 there's a controversy with Ezekiel Elliott. He's a, a player with the Dallas Cowboys, as you all know. He uh, beat some girl. He said Allegedly. This, he's allegedly. It. He denies it. She says he beat her. He was never convicted. I don't even think he no. was charged with anything. No. But the NFL took it upon themselves to uh, ban him for six games. Yes, suspended uh, for six suspended games. Suspended for six mm-hmm. games. And uh, he's fighting that conviction. Yes. He's fighting, fighting that suspension. Absolutely. Uh, what do you guys think? Is it too much? Because he has been accused of this and not convicted, should the NBA or the NFL be uh, putting down a penalty on him? Right. Well, the players, no. have, a, the players have a problem in the NFL. Yeah, the they're players. all idiots. <laughs> no, that's not it. Oh, that's not the problem? That's no. another problem. Well, okay. they, they were idiots. Uh, well, I guess you can say yes because they the, were idiots the, to sign that. The uh, CBA. The CBA. Yeah. The collective bargaining agreement gives – Roger Goodell, the right to do everything they're trying to fight. There you go. They we gave go it to, back him. to We they're go back idiots. to the CBA. Guess what? You lose. That's you lose. all to it. You, just your signature? Then you That's lose. It. You got it. <laughs> there you go. You right. got, he, has the, he has the power to be Black judge and, and jury. That's it. And executioner. That's all it. But he's suing. He's suing yeah. the uh, NFL? He's filed suit against the NFL. How much? Uh, he hasn't said. Oh, it's okay. not been disclosed. And the NFL PA uh, siding with him. Of course. As they should. Has filed a restraining order against the NFL. A restraining order? A restraining how does that order. work? Right. Well, well, how that works is 
it blocks the suspension. Ah, so he can start <laughs> on to start the season on time. Now, <laughs> yes. Oh, now, how long is that going to last? I like that. I like that. Now, here's so the maybe other. he's not as dumb as you thought he was. <laughs> it's not him. He's still a dummy, but he's got enough people around him. Okay, he's 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 an idiot. But here's the other part. Now, as we since we're talking about football, we all know Colin Kaepernick took a knee and he has been blackballed by yeah. the NFL. He can't get get picked up. Uh, and and, so and last week, uh, Squirrel said he was going to boycott. I am boycotting. Now, how do you boycott football? You just don't watch it? I don't watch it. Now, this boycott that and everybody— I don't, boy, I don't I boycott. I'm not watching it. I'm not playing fantasy. I'm not doing— I'm, I'm, I did none of that stuff I'm, anyway. I'm unattached from the NFL. I, I'll see the stories. I'll hear stuff because I can't help it. So right. that's fine. But <clears> uh, <throat> it's no investment in the NFL. I don't even visit NFL.com. Well, see, I'm, I haven't really wow. been into it for the last few years, partially because I work on Sunday. It's on TV. It's, that's all about it. I don't follow it. I don't keep up with it. I know what's happening. Like you say, I watch SportsCenter. I keep up with everything without even keeping up with it. I, let me just say this about the boycott. It's not going to happen. Black folks can't get together and do nothing. And, mm, okay, so we're not going to boycott it as a group. And whatever little boycott we're doing ain't going to hurt it. They don't care about not, you. You're yeah. the least. You're fifteen percent of their viewership. You just, you wow. just, outlined, and they don't care. And you just outlined it, that last sentence exactly one hundred percent why I'm boycotting. I don't give a damn about other people. I don't care what other people do. I have a household. I have a child. And if the NFL's message is that they don't care about the life of my child, and be, and they, they don't. Then uh, fine, I, I, that, that's fine. I can know. find something else to do on Sunday. I agree, and I appreciate I, that. I'm okay. I am with you one hundred percent. It don't have to work. I'm with you one hundred percent. But, yeah. 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 but the NFL doesn't care yeah. about its I don't players. Care. I don't care either. And 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 we we already know they let them beat each other to death. They are dying from head injuries. From head injuries. And guess what? Yep. The NFL will live on because as long as it's poor people, I'm okay with that. It will be an NFL. Oh yeah. And as long as people, if this bloodthirsty country we live in wants to see a blood sport, they will be. Football and there will yes. be MMA and there will be okay other things. But they got hockey for, for that. And they get, there will be hockey as long let as poor people this. need money and rich they're folks will pay them to beat each other. It's yeah. gonna happen. Well, let me just say this: I'm not boycotting to stop them from doing what they do. You just you just do with it. That's all. There you go. I'm just I'm, I'm with just you. I'm, just I'm not, with you. I am not supporting their message. I'm I don't with care you. One hundred percent. And why? I'm with you 100. I'm not going to. I'm not going to. And my children are following my lead. And they. So that's three people. So. Are you and going that, to the Super Bowl? my youngest son. Are you watching the Super Bowl? No. <laughs> this is the Billy T. Detroit Radio Podcast. Another historic event took place in August, and that was a a, a record-breaking lottery. A lady won uh, $750 million. Yes. Yeah, she's The a biggest fox. lottery ever for one single winner? Yeah, she's a fox. She's a fox she's now. A fox. <laughs> she is now. She's a, 50, a 53-year-old fox. Yeah. Sexy as she want to be. Definitely. Yeah. How do you collect that kind of money and not have a target on your back? Like, I mean, I know, can't you send, like, an attorney as a representative to collect the you money? Go, you, I'm pretty sure they yeah, got that yeah, all. Yeah, they, yeah. They work oh, she went and picked up her yeah, check herself. That's, that's, she was standing there with the check like, yeah, I quit my job. I ain't coming no, back. I wouldn't I want my back. face like that. I wouldn't want my well, face like that. Well, one is in certain choice. states. That was in Massachusetts. And just like Michigan, in Massachusetts, you have to claim it. You have to come out and claim it. You cannot be anonymous. There are some states you can, but Michigan, I know you can't. And oh, Massachusetts, now I see that you can. There's quite a few you have to because they want people to see you. See, part of the deal is it's just like at the at the uh, casino. When you hit a little jackpot, the machine goes off and makes a lot of noise because they want people to come around and see a winner. Real. Okay? Yep. They yep. want to see the winner. That's the whole concept of Vegas and gambling and everything. Somebody's got to win, so the rest of us go say, ooh, 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 I can win too. That's right. just how it works. So yeah, you got to come out. You got we got to see you. And it's also and it's also because if we don't see the winner, everybody's going to say you're lying. You won't right. It. Yeah. Exactly. That makes that's sense. what I'm saying. Yeah. You got that's part of the the, the, the hookup. That makes well, sense. That's just endangering. But wait a minute. Oh, yeah, but wait a minute. I wouldn't want you to know I got 400. Well, we know also. Million, also, not only that, if you don't make, if you don't announce a winner, then they will lie. <laughs> <laughs> exactly. Oh, yeah, somebody won. Don't yeah, worry about don't it. Worry about no, it. Somebody don't won. worry about it. Yeah, we'll somebody keep won. this for but ourselves. Imagine if you won the lottery. You know your, as soon as you are on TV, your family is going to be calling of you. Of course. Oh, no, they're not. Because you change your number. Huh? My number is different <laughs> today. <laughs> 
right now. <laughs> when you saw me on the news, I'm on the news like this. Oh, See y'all it. doing? I got a new phone. Y'all like my new phone? It got a new number, and y'all ain't got it. <laughs> Ridiculous. Oh, now you said, uh, Duchess, you were saying about a girl in Africa who. Oh man, a girl in what Africa. Happened? She um. She usually gets uh, like $105 from uh, financial aid into her bank account monthly, but she checked it and it was more like 100 and, excuse me, it was $108. She checked it and she actually got $1,800. <laughs> I love it. $1 million. Ding, 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 Look ding, 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 ding. Look I wouldn't say a Won't word. Won't he do it? Won't, Won't he, he do, do it? it? Oh, God. No, they did not just put that He's a ram out. in a bush now. Hey. Oh, y'all both <laughs> going to hell. Y'all are both going straight to hell. God ain't had nothing to do with that technical error. So what happened? Did they, well, she have to get, did she say, hey, What Bible? happened? No. No, let me ask you this. Do you say, uh, excuse me, by the way, I don't think this is right. You no no <laughs> or, you go get a new social security or, or, number <laughs> and you start all over <laughs> you start, start all, all over, over. Baby. but uh, what she did do was she began of course to uh, pick up a nice luxury lifestyle oh and uh, in Africa she began spending uh, I believe they said like eight hundred and sixty dollars a day uh-huh. that's huge out there that's oh, shopping imagine. and yeah. you know whatever and someone began to notice and, and they, hold on where's she getting all this money from. But they hate it. Oh, yeah. They posted oh, yeah. her bank Well, first of all, account. you got to move out of that neighborhood. Oh, yeah. First of all, because they know you. They already know you ain't making but $108 a month. <laughs> Why now, all of a sudden, you're spending so 800 a month. <laughs> you know, well, you... A day. Yeah, a, a day. day. So, oh, come on. She ended up spending like 65000 in like a um three a months. Uh, it was like a three-month span. But, but however, she didn't move? <laughs> no, she didn't move, and they ended up catching up to her or whatever, the fraud or whatever, and she only spent 65000 They so let her get away with it? Uh, I don't think so. <laughs> it, uh, you will be paying that back. But uh, just we, the fact. I mean, can you? I mean, like, what would your life be like? I would take. Three hey, months? look. I would take she had out. To have the best time. It was worth it. I'm I don't know. You know what? It was I feel worth a certain it. type of way about that because you know it's not like you found some money right like, in, a, in a alley somewhere. They gonna right. catch up with you. They, that's that's documented it's and. Not and like, yeah, but you, you know, you, you're going to get caught. Yes. I mean, when, but, people, yeah. when people find stuff, I feel like they should try to return it. But, hey, mm-hmm. at, at the same time, like, but y'all should know I would hold off. Well, I, would hold off. I would hold but off, But I was too. just going to say, and the thing is, I can see if instead of 100, it was maybe like 500. Yeah. yeah, yeah no yeah, big yeah, deal yeah. there. A million. A million. And she knew she was both. A million plus at that. But <laughs> I would have. And then why not invest into a business? Oh, why stop. You going <laughs> stop. Stop. Don't nobody want to hear that. Ain't nobody invest- Somebody. That's a hundred. Here's yes, a million dollars out of nowhere. We have to get stocks and bonds. <laughs> I would have just done nothing. I'd have left it there and see if they catch it. Took exactly. it back. Maybe and then if they somebody. catch it, I'd be like, oh, what? I didn't even notice. But listen, well, somebody's Billy, gonna, it was three Somebody's going to notice a million dollars. But it missing. was three months. Before though. she did anything or what? Yeah, no, it was three months that Before she they had caught. the money. And when I'm, she had started spending she it, though. She had started spending it. I'm saying it. don't spend a dime. But for the whole three months. Yes. I don't spend a dime. For a week. Don't for spend like a, a week. dime. No, for like a week. Baby. No, because here's the thing. If you don't do nothing, they may not notice. They may So they when, may so not. when you do, spend you it. do something. Oh, uh, a year you? later? Six months later? And then Ooh, you just I'll do a little bit. And, and you just do a little bit. Gradually. A little bit. Just and a then, little and, bit. And, 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 and then wait to see before? if they notice. Have you see, done we be before? trying to be too hood rich. Exactly. You got to yes, just you keep know? living your life the way you live I'm it. I want to buy some Balenciaga. And, you know and here you go. You don't spend anything. You just take a little bit out and put Chunks it somewhere and else. And put it to the side. You know what you do? You see what I'm saying? This is ridiculous. I'm with you. Billy hit the nail, almost hit the nail on the head. Of course. Of course. I had to almost hit the nail. He gotta have some. He gotta you have right, 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 you right, do right. put it. You do put it in a new account so that they don't have access to the account that you already have. It's the bank. government. They they gonna your name. Okay, they they're gonna seize draw it everything. All. Then cut me the check. For and, I'm and I'm gone. And I'm gone. I got a one way ticket out the country. out the country. Yeah. Now, if that's now. the case, did, did this government catch it? Hell no. <laughs> oh, well, you know what? Squirrel hit it on the nail. So did y'all see the eclipse? I I, did. I went outside. I, I did. I had my little box because I didn't have the glasses. Okay. Walmart was all out of glasses, so I just did the box thing and saw it in there. Uh, but it was uneventful because it didn't get that dark. It got a little dark, but it was real yeah. cloudy that day where I was in yeah. Easter. Okay. It was a little cloudy, so it was it was okay. It was okay. It was dope. It was, I thought did it was, you see I it? Did you? I watched Billy's I mean, video. 
really? <laughs> so you saw it. Yeah. I saw it with, it was I saw it with the glasses. I, okay, there was, you go. You had to have the glasses. It really? Was, it's awesome. Huh? It was absolutely phenomenal. I mean, it was it was something. It was a sight to behold. It is. Right? Because you look up there. Because when you kind of glance up, you're scared to look because they yeah. tell you you're going to go blind. Right. So you, you're kind of glancing up like, uh-oh, uh-oh. But when you put the glasses on, you actually look you up there and you clearly. go, oh, my God, I see it. Now, have you never seen it in Eclipse? Absolutely not. Oh, you haven't? Oh, well, there you go. Yeah, it's one of the most amazing things to see. Glasses I was going to say, the we well, yes. glasses and at you work. still didn't see it? No, I seen it. Oh, okay. Well, I saw it, rather. Let me. Well, well, <laughs> she seen it. She seen it. I saw it. And <laughs> that's what I had. <laughs> I, and see, they keep saying it's the first <laughs> oh, solar <laughs> eclipse in so many years. I remember in the 90s, it was somewhere in the early 90s, I think. Yeah, I was a kid. They and, had one. And I was shooting school pictures. And I went outside. I wasn't going to look up. But this guy had brought a welding mask for his daughter to look. And she looked and that was it. And she wasn't impressed. And he said, you want to use it? I said, yeah. And I looked up and I caught it right when it was right there in the middle. Mm-hmm. And I'm, I I thought it was a total eclipse, you know, but... It was, was, like you said, one of the most incredible things you it want to was. see. Oh, man. Most it incredible was. things you want to see. I think it the is. best part it about... Cover, oh, man. It's, it's amazing. Yeah. It really is. I think the best part about that day was my grandma and her text. Shout out to um, Mary Bartell. But <laughs> <laughs> she was sending the family a text talking about... If you guys don't want to have to wear a uh, use a cane for the blind, make sure you <laughs> wear the proper glass. I'm like, here we go. Come on, let's it up. Hey, that is going to do it for this segment of the Billy T. Detroit uh, podcast. Thank you for listening to the Billy T. Detroit radio broadcast. Follow me on social media at Billy T. Detroit.